Hey guys, as you guys can see, I got a low C micro charger, or micro T charger, or micro quick charge, whatever you want to call it, for my micro T. Um, there's this guy called Hooksat85, and that's his YouTube account name on here. And I seen a very good video that I really liked where you could do a modification to the charger where you don't need the batteries anymore. And what you need is a 12 volt DC the output has to at least be a 12 volt DC. Like, it has to be a 12 volt AC input and 12 volt DC output with at least a 500 milliamp charge. If it's not, then it's not going to work correctly. Um, basically, what you do is you open up your charger, and once you get to the board on the underside of the this part right here, which is the battery box, is under there. Um, on that, there'll be a positive and negative wire going to the battery box like down the bottom and basically all you have to do is just take your positive and negative and put them on there and you can completely desolder them and do that or and put it in a different project box which I kept in a normal low C box and what I did I took a pair of um, soap fail side cuts and I cut a little flap out I mean yeah you can see inside whatever blah 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 not the cleanest but I could seal it up if I wanted to and I did that, and I ran the wires out. But what I did is I spliced into the wires, so in case if I wanted to, if I was on the go, I could put batteries in it, and it does work. I've tested it. But then you got the thing, you know, you got that long cord, and it's like, oh, hell, if you want to go take it out, you can because you got the cord. Well, I solved that problem, too. I had an old battery pack that didn't work with the charger, and the battery pack was shot, so I took the connectors, and I wired them up. Connector, 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 bam. And all I have to do is unplug it. And it goes, I gotta cover this up. I know I'm not gonna leave a bear like that. And then it goes all the way up. And there you go. And that's basically it. It works. It's effective. Um, <clears throat> sometimes the charger. See, I got the charger right here. The cable. It's got like, one's got like dashed. And one's just got a bunch of writing on it. Easy way to do it. This, uh charger that I have, this wall adapter, came off a rock crawler that I had. So I already had the basically the positive negative, the pins right there. So basically what I did is I took one of my uh, little NICAD batteries, and it's same polarity, so it's simple. Just plugged it in, while the, pretend this was connected to the charger still, and I figured out, positive runs straight through to the positive, so the dashed side is the positive. Negative has a number, all the le random letters on it, right here. So that's negative, and I just did that, and I went by that. And everything's working. I have a charging up, I don't know, it should take 20 to 25 minutes, hopefully. It won't take any longer. And that should be it, I mean... <coughs> the battery, not really warm. The charger, a little warm, like normal warm. Um... If you're going to do this at first, your first time doing it, I suggest that you sit there and just watch it just in case if there's something happens. And that's another thing, reason why I added that little disconnect right here, just in case, say, because I did it just for testing before I actually did it, but then I like that idea. But just in case if something was to spark or smoke, just unplug it. But thanks, guys. And that's about it. I mean, as said, his name is Hookset85. I give him all the credit. I mean, without his video, <laughs> I'd have been buying batteries. Um, and that's basically it. Thanks, guys.